good morning everybody welcome to a new video today i am going to be recording a basically a post holiday reset you know i've just come back from malta i had a weekend then away in ireland as well and i've just had a little bit of excess as we all do and as we can see somebody ate a lot of sugar while they were away and so i am just getting back on my bs and i am going to be just resetting everything and what i thought i would do is record that with you guys so it is 12 o'clock now quarter to 12 i am about to go down and make lunch which will be my first meal of the day today i have had three coffees this morning it's a bit more than i normally would but i am calorie counting for this week just to like shut everything down and just to feel really good because I feel very bloated I feel very like on my skin and stuff like that um although my skin besides this bit looks pretty good it's just I I need a, I need a lot of hydration so I've had my three coffees I've had a lot of water and I have had one ethos uh the resilience blend and one of those and now I'm going to go downstairs and I'm going to make lunch and lunch today is going to be a salad and I'm praying that I have an episode of Married at First Sight Australia to watch because I'm obsessed with that show. Obsessed. But I'm right, as I said, I'm going down now to make lunch. Um, Vincent's in the gym and when he comes back then I want to have lunch for both of us ready. We have some smoked tofu to use up and I'm going to make a salad with smoked tofu and probably asparagus as well and a couple of other bits and I'll show you what I do and weigh it out and all that kind of malarkey. So real back on the, the bullshit. <laughs> I hate that expression it's kind of funny as well uh, vincent's been taking the revive active beauty complex this was gifted to me but it has collagen in it uh fish collagen marine collagen and obviously i don't consume marine collagen but they sent me a load of stuff which was very nice of them um so i have a full set of revive as you can see in here and then i'm just want to finish off this resilience one from ethos first before i start anything else and Honestly, I'm not, I don't love the taste of this, but combined with a strawberry ores, so I have, I only have the lemon one left, and um, these are the hydration tablets that I take. That's quite tasty. It's quite, it's, it's much nicer in my opinion. You might like it, it's just, it's not to my flavor. And I'm also doing a load of laundry. So let's go into the fridge and get our ingredients out and try not to give you guys whiplash <laughs> or make you feel sick so for me my reset is going to include cutting out some carbohydrates just because i ate so many carbohydrates so i'm not going to be eating any pastas or anything like that uh, no pasta no bread i will eat like potatoes and things like that it's not like a keto uh, i'm going to use this smoked tofu from Lidl that has to be used up how are those green beans looking they can go into this stir fry or something i have some asparagus so we're going to put asparagus and i have baby leaf and rocket i will always have rocket in my fridge i'm also going to use um, a courgette i think i want to get lots of greens in and then some pomegranate seeds right let's go with this And also, I think we'll do some olives for good fats. I'm really cold. And then I really like this um, pickled vegetable salad from, this one's from Lidl, but you can get them in Polish shops. I know my friend Kinga gets this, gets them. Right, maybe I won't eat this. Let's see, let's do Let's get the tofu sorted first because that's going to take the longest but it's not really going to take that long and i think i'm going to do it really like not too complicated i'm just going to slice it i'm going to put some seasoning on it and i'm going to put it in the air fryer and that's going to be it right let's do this oh cold take the tofu so it's 250 calories 246 calories for this tofu by itself uh, for the whole block so you can easily have that but i'm going to split it between the two of us this one from little is pretty much ready to go it's nice and smoky so you don't need too much 
pressing or anything, which you normally would with tofu. Do little pieces because it's going into a salad and they will get crispier then. I'm gonna grab a bowl, add them here. I don't have any nutritional yeast at the moment, which is what I would normally use. So we're just improvising. I'm gonna go in with some Southern fried chicken seasoning. So, and mixy mix and spray with some oil. Basically gonna make like a smoked chicken salad. Cause that's what we seem to be doing. Was that my intention? Who knows? Always make sure your seasoning doesn't have like a ton of fat in it. Into my air fryer basket. I'm putting it on a 220 for 15 minutes. It won't take that long. In the meantime, I'm going to take my asparagus and slice off the dead stalks. And you could use this to make a stock, just FYI. In fact, I'm going to start doing that. So I'm gonna keep them in there, put them back in the fridge, and I'm gonna make a stock with those. In the meantime, I am going to take the asparagus, wash them, and put them on the pan with some spray oil, and that's it. Two bowls. Lettuce. And some extra. I'm going to take a courgette, wash it. In the two salads, you it. So far then I have put 25 grams of sliced olives, so just like these little ones. Oh sorry, 25 grams of uh, grated courgette, 20 grams of olives, a few uh, capers, and then 30 grams of just vegan cheese, just the Aldi version. That's all I have at the moment. Then my asparagus is ready. And on the asparagus, just as it was finishing cooking, just as it was finished cooking, I used the Kali Kali Little Italy seasoning, which is like a garlicky chili seasoning. When I'm making a salad, I always like to have a mix of textures, flavors, and temperatures. I think that makes it just a little bit more interesting. This is not a boring salad. This is something that's tasty and delicious to eat. I am just gonna chop up these asparagus, which are pretty warm. They're actually a little bit woody, some of them. That's why you take off that end bit. I'm just gonna pop them on the top. So I have my warm elements are my tofu and my asparagus. Then my kind of sour elements are the capers. I have the fattier ones, which are the cheese and the ol the olives and then i've got some protein i've got the carbs and the veg and then i'm going to add probably going to use maybe balsamic vinegar or white vinegar for my salad dressing i'm also going to season my salad with some herbs some dried herbs I don't have anything fresh at the moment. We haven't done a shop since we came back from holidays, so we're a bit all over the show with ingredients, but I'm probably going to use some of the Kali Kali. Oh no, I know what I'm gonna use. This is especially for you guys in the States. This is the season, the pickle seasoning from uh, Trader Joe's. This might be my favorite seasoning of all time. I'm just gonna put some of that on top. I don't even have nutritional yeast, which I normally would put on top. I'm out of everything. I need to go to the uh, zero waste grocery today. I need to go to the grocery store or the supermarket. Uh, who's your one thing she is? And I'm gonna put some salt on that and then the salad dressing and then we are done. Dishes are done, dude. So that's today. Then tonight I fancy a pie if we have one. If we don't, then I'm going to have, I don't know actually. I'll have a look now. So I'm gonna decide what I'm gonna have already. I'm gonna track that in my calories and then I am going to see what I have left over. If I want a snack, if I feel hungry later on, but I'm not dancing today. So I'm keeping to my regular calorie allowance. And I know people are gonna ask me, it is the body slims allowance that I was given. I don't discuss calories for so many reasons because weight loss is not just about calories it's about so many other things and if people white knuckle it through whatever my calorie allowance is or somebody else's they're not addressing the real issues 
which is to do with why we're eating something. And if you wanna do a program, whatever it is, they will give you an allowance, but it's making sure that we undo those habits and behaviors and the thought process and the reasoning as to why we became overweight or a couple of pounds overweight in the first place. I know for me right now, it's because I was not grounded, I was not present to myself, and not that I'm overweight, but I just know that I kind of not lost the run of myself, but I wasn't tuned into myself the last couple of weeks and then on holiday. And I just wanna bring it all back in. So I'm gonna do that with food, but a couple of other things that I'm doing as well. And I'm gonna show you all of those elements of my resets. One of them is doing my full makeup on my hair. Today I had greasy hair. I'm gonna be washing my hair tonight. So I just slicked it back into a nice slick ponytail, which I actually like. But there is more to this than just food. And that's why I don't share my calories. That was a very long way of saying that. Now, I need a vinegar. Do I want balsamic? I think I'll do it by myself. Just old school Modena balsamic on it. A tablespoon of that. And that is my lunch ready to go. I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna watch some Married at First Sight Australia. And I will chat to you at Snacky's next time. Hello. It is a little bit later now. It's this afternoon. It's three o'clock. Have to. Have to. I went out with Vincent to do some grocery shopping and we just did one shop in Aldi and then we went to our favourite uh, no zero waste place and um, not flourish which is in Rohini I'll leave it linked down below but I thought I would just do a quick grocery haul with you guys to kind of show you like some of the regular things that we would buy especially when we are like really in a cut and we're kind of doing our good things um, so that popcorn is one of my favourite low calorie snacks these ones from Aldi are 100 calories. They're not my favorite, and I actually buy them because they're not my favorite. My favorite are the little ones, and I have a tendency to eat more than one packet, whereas that's just like satisfying enough. Then, kitchen roll, very exciting. I also love these, the lentil curls from Aldi. These are 72 calories per bag. These are my favorite ones, I love them. And then I got some of this baby leaf salad from Aldi. This one is my favorite and they reduced the price on this. So I got two bags of that. Delicious. And some whole wheat pasta for the boys and um, for Brannock and for Vincent. Some bananas. Yes, I know everything is in plastic. It's really hard in Ireland to not have plastic stuff. Um, I got two no chicken burgers. So we would do these as a meal. I would eat them with some kind of veg, like a courgette, and then some kind of potato, either new potatoes or something along those lines. And I got an Easter egg for the little man. So I got some more of the baby leaf salad. Uh, I got the active leaf soy cherry yogurt. That is Bronach's favorite. I really like the Alpro cherry one. I'm not as keen on this one. He likes that one so, and just instead of having to go to multiple places, we just went there and got that. I love these. These are the breakfast hash browns. They are very similar to the McDonald's hash browns, which I love. They're accidentally vegan, I think. It always gets me when they put, yeah, when they put um, vegetarian on them. I'm like, they're actually vegan. They're probably just, you know, in somewhere that's not 100%. Uh, they are 88 calories per hash brown and they're the same size as the ones a little bit smaller maybe than the McDonald's ones and they're so good. So like you could have one, maybe two of these with this and it's kind of like a fake away kind of thing. The no chicken keeps are unbelievable from Aldi. These are 350 calories, so they're a bit higher in calories, but my gosh, that's a real like Sunday night dinner for me. I love them. And then these are really good. They're surprisingly good. These are the vegetable fingers. And for three of the fingers, is 205 calories. They're nice and crispy. They're actually quite tasty and they've got just straight up like got corn and peas and carrots in them and a little bit of potato. 
and Brana kind of likes these and they're an easy thing to eat, feed kids. Whole wheat spaghetti. And then Aldi finally have brought out their mature grated plant-based um, cheese. So I got the grated one, the block and the sliced. I like the sliced for a quick snack, just to give me something like a hit of something if I need it. This is 59 calories per slice, which is an average for um, a vegan cheese. I also got these, the strawberry fruity bars. I mainly got them for Brannock, but I kind of also got them for me. Sometimes the kids section have really good, like low calorie things. So these are 58 calories for biscuit if you wanted something sweet. And then this is the prepared tofu from Aldi that I really like. And we just leave that in the fridge. Well, there's not that much of a date on it, but yeah, I would leave that in the fridge and then I would, if I just wanted a snack, I would just cook that up quickly in the air fryer or on the pan and it's high in protein. So if you were having a hundred, so it's just under like 240 calories for it and about 20 grams of protein. So it's pretty decent. This is supposed to be the vegetables. Didn't get these today, but these are the Home Dunbar Fruit Fetti freeze-dried fruit they're expensive they're a bit spenny they're four euro a pack which is just like i get them when it's like buy one get one free or buy one get one half price it's 105 calories for the whole pack and they are so good and Brock loves these so if you have kids like i cannot recommend these enough then in tomatoes I, got some, I did i tend to buy a lot of veg when it's on the like you know the cheaper range in tesco aldi little so we got two bags of rooster potatoes they were 59 cents i think and then i got one bag of new potatoes i love just a steamed new potato i also love mashed new potatoes i do it in the nutribullet or the nutri what do i have what's the thing i have ninja <laughs> ninja foodie food mix oh. The Ninja Soup Maker, that's what it's called. Uh, shallots, they were on sale. They're really good for flavor, they're delicious. Another bag of roosters. Some pink ladies, for me, I love pink ladies with a bit of peanut butter. is an excellent afternoon snack. A cucumber. Melon was on sale, and I love melon. Um, and it's really low in calories in courgettes and then finally some carrots and all of that came to 70 euro with a load of water we need the five liter bottles of water and the fizzy water and then i got a packet oh no we also got 10 milks because brannock has the same milk as vincent they both have this active leaf soy the sweetened version which is sweetened with apple juice by the way which is kind of cool and then this is my current milk of choice is the active leaf oat it's kind of the same calories as per 100 mils it's 49 calories so it works at about 35 for my morning coffee but i like that it has calcium uh it's calcium vitamin b2 12 and vitamin d so i'm getting extra vitamins in it whereas some of the other oat milks don't have that which is fine i just always want to make sure i'm getting my vitamins in but with all the vitamins i take i'm probably getting enough but just and i know i'm getting enough because my blood tests show that i am and then i got just a fizzy drink and um, this is the lemon zero sugar <laughs> oh, this one it's so good it's actually better than club lemon it's really nice they were doing professor peppies which was like a fake dr pepper but that's gone so it's very unfortunate Right, I'm going to put all this away and then I have to go up and do a lot of work <laughs> and then I have to wash my hair tonight. So, um, yeah, and then I'm out all day tomorrow. So I'm going to show you what a day out is also like, but we're still, yes, what I did eat while I was out was I had my coffee, as you saw, which is somewhere under this pile. And then to brew, I need to get myself a 12 ounce coffee cup. Um, I think this one's compostable. No, it's not. 12 ounce like yeti i have like the in brew they do a little what are they called like the speculus cookies like a biscoff they give you one of those so i had that which was really nice and then i had one square of chocolate the chocolate i got because it's, de it's divine absolutely delicious so we go to zero waste um minimal grocery uh, in rohini called 
flourish which i love i love marshawn she's so lovely and we basically get these kind of like our eco cleaner stuff redone so a refill so this is the one that we use which is the lily's eco clean floor uh, cleaner and then we normally get the lily's laundry detergent but they actually were out of it so we're trying the true eco one today so just refill that bag that bottle the same with our fabric softener is the true eco fabric softener plant-based a whole heap of nooch that's a nutritional yeast um, a bag of cashew nuts and then this is the chocolate i got which is the vivani black cherry it is divine i had one square of this then and one square is Of a lentil curl and a pint of fours. Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday today, so yesterday I was out all day and I didn't get to film too much of what I was doing, but I did go for lunch with my friend Annette. And I had really nice food in Cornucopia. I ate it all. I was a hungry little munchkin. Because this is not only just about weight loss, it's also about healthy habits. And for me, doing my morning pages. So that's something that I'm instilling that I do before I start work every morning. So I'm gonna be doing that again this morning. I am currently on my second coffee of the day. I have it in my mug because our childminder is here and Brana gets upset if he sees me when the childminder is here so I bring it up to have it and I've also had all my vitamins this morning which you saw I was after my walk and then I did have uh, just one of those ethos sachets as well I have that with um, two ores in it and mix that up so it just makes it taste a little bit better because I'm not so keen on the taste but this morning I am about to go have a shower, get ready and one of the ways that I like healthy habits is getting showered, getting dressed, getting my makeup on, feeling the best about myself and then morning pages and work. Then tonight I am dancing so I'm going to show you what it's like to go to a dancing class, what I need to eat before a dancing class and then it's also when the girl's birthday so we'll probably get her a cake and I might try and refrain from the cake today because yeah just not with the sugar at the moment. My skin is just having a moment after last week's weight of sugar. So anyway, into the shower I go. Hi, it's about uh, two o'clock now, quarter to two, and I am on my way to, ten to five to two. I'm on my way to dancing and I am about to pick up a coffee. I have my usual salad for lunch. I filmed that one a couple of days ago, a couple of, in one of the Cooking with Carla videos. I love that salad so much. It's so flavoursome, it's so delicious. And I'm about to pick up. So on days that I go dancing, I'm obviously using a lot more energy. I'm on about 9,000 steps today. So it's been quite a sedentary day for me, but with dancing and everything, I go about two to 300 calories over my normal amount. And I am going to go and get an extra coffee or a coffee. I'm probably gonna have another one when I get to the studio. And then I'm going to also, I think I'm gonna get an iced coffee now. I'm gonna have a overnight oats. These are my favorite from Ebb and Flow. So let's go get me some overnight oats and some fuel for dancing because I have practice and then I have an hour and a half. So I have two and a half hours of dancing this afternoon. So, woo, it's gonna be incredible. Iced Americano has been acquired. A tip for saving a little bit of calories if that's something you want to do. You can do an iced Americano uh, instead of an iced latte and then just get a little bit of uh, oat milk or whatever milk you want in it. Testified for Amber. And then I picked up my overnight oats from Ebb and Flow. They are Biscoff ones. Now, they don't look like the normal ones. So 
there's somebody, there's two people who do them, so um, they look like the bad person's one. Mm. Oh no, they're delicious. Oh my god, they're so good. I could eat this all the time. Mm. I need to make this. Mm. So good. just sit down and have a bit of a chat with you guys because it's been a while since I've sat down and have a chat and I know that this is like a reset video but I wanted to just talk about the reset and a couple of things that were going on inside me so I filmed the last little bit on Friday for that and it was the bank holiday weekend so it's Easter and I honestly had been feeling really bad I had been feeling really bad myself for about a month I would say kind of progressing on constantly for maybe six months and I'm not entirely sure what was going on but I knew that I wanted to do the reset to kind of feel a little bit better in myself and to do the things that make me feel the best that I can and that's why I was doing it and then I felt this weekend I just I lost it Honestly, I just lost. Um, I ended up having a panic attack on Saturday morning, which is the first panic attack I have had since I had my postnatal depression relapse. I'm still on my postnatal medication, postnatal depression medication. I'm still on my ADHD drugs. Everything is okay. There are a lot of things going on, like behind the scenes that I'm not gonna talk about that everything is it's not negative it's not positive it's just there is a lot going on and I'm just I'm Vincent and I are okay we're all good we're still together everything's fine it's just there's been a lot going on and there's been stuff financially and things like that you know and like I think a lot of people imagine that when you have like 100,000 followers on Instagram that you're a millionaire and I can tell you that ain't the truth believe me and it's been tough but in saying all of this, I had the panic attack and I think actually I needed the release. I don't know if anyone's ever been on antidepressant medication. Have you found that you can't cry? I find, very, I find it very difficult to cry on the medication. I feel like it kind of hinders the tears and I needed that release and I think the panic attack was the release. It was very mild. I've had much worse panic attacks in my life, but it was still a panic attack, it was still that scary thing and when I have um, when I have severe anxiety or I have panic or I any of this kind of thing, my hand shakes and it's to do with my therapist said it's to do with like the energy leaving your body, like not being able to and it was the first time my hand and it's no it's not some kind of neurological disease or something it's, it's a physical representation of something that's going on in my brain which just is neurological but it's it's a panic but I haven't felt that in a really long time but after having that I kind of felt a bit better we went out that morning we went to my favorite coffee shop we just chilled out we had a bit of a talk the three of us we had time basically together the three of us this weekend which is really nice and then I decided to go get my, Vincent was on the phone to his mum with Branock and I decided I was going to go get my shoes rehealed, my dancing shoes which needed to be done. I went and did that and it was going to take half an hour so I was like I'm just going to go upstairs and have a coffee, sit down with myself and my journal and I'm just going to write and I ended up writing out a plan and the plan was based on three different areas and one was uh, sleep and how to prioritize my sleep and then the other was to do with my emotional regulation um, and feeling my feelings and emotionally regulating myself and not ignoring it and then also was to do with 
overwhelm and blurred brain and I find that when I am so overwhelmed I can't think straight I get very blurry in my brain and I just like kind of it's almost like a freeze I kind of just glaze over in my head that's kind of how it feels although it feels the way I described it to Vincent this weekend is like my brain expands so much that there is not enough room in my head for it and it just feels like there's this pressure and so I made plans for all around those three different things and of course a lot of them interlace and I have come up with a plan and it's basically having a really set bedtime and so I get ready now for bed before I go down to make dinner I do my morning pages in the morning uh, before after my walk before everybody wakes up so a couple of things just to really make me feel the best that I can feel and while I know that I started off this video I kind of just wanted to come on and just have this chat with you because this is like to be really honest and to say like I was struggling I definitely feel much much better in the last two days um, I do know that I have been reaching for sugar a lot I and I've spoken about this before I have a kind of compulsion towards sugar especially when I'm tired and it's the quick hit of energy and it's like chocolate or something it's just to give me that quick hit and that is something that I have like completely cut out now sugar is and I know that when I don't eat sugar I don't reach for sugar so it's almost like having to cut it out in order to not reach for it and that is what I have done um, and that's already feel much better for not having it and ensuring I'm getting my water so I'm doing all of those things that I know that will make me feel better but I know that they are the hardest things to do when we're not feeling great in ourselves so for me it's prioritizing my walking making sure I'm getting my full route getting out early in the morning and in order to do that I need to be going to bed early enough I am not don't have any screens in my room now when or when we go to bed no screens in the room so I stop watching any screens by the time I'm like either brushing my teeth or doing my hair wrap or actually yeah and then I'm doing my gratitude journal, I'm reading my book, I'm giving the cats their treats and I'm lying down and doing a meditation to go to sleep. I am having naps when I feel like I need a nap. I am doing the things that make me feel better in myself and giving myself that time and working with my family in order to do that, so. And that is my family and therefore I need to go. So I'm gonna go, but I will continue on like a couple of the bits and show you like what I'm doing for this reset, so I hope I hope you guys are enjoying this video. I know it's a bit strange and random, but I love you. I'm a bit strange and random.